What's going on? It's Cos311 back, and this is Knights of the Old Republic, and we just left the cantina, yeah. So we are heading down farther into lower, um, terrace. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on Thek? Uh, let's see, I need Gan's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulture gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Uh, maybe I can ally against those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Bex are watching you. Uh, they don't scare me. Alright, so Gad, if you go right to Gadon, it automatically cuts to talking to him. I don't... not can't remember if there's anything worth grabbing in here. Security doors we can't get in, no. Gan's over there, to the right. Let's see... I think there might be one, like, thing we can grab in here, right away. There we go. Repair kit, computer spike, med packs. And I don't think there's anything else down here. Just regular dudes. And that's a security door, so that's locked. Alright. Let's talk to my boy, Gadden. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. That girl's got issues. Is that door? That's a security door. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Oh, wait, I forgot something. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like... Oh, I forgot to do something I wanted to do. Where's... Sorry, I forgot. If you want to keep the Sith uniforms, this is how you do it. Because you're actually going to trade those Sith uniforms for something you need. Oh, come on. Where you at? Ready. Ugh, Karth. Sorry. I forgot about this. About doing it this way. It's been long, years and years and years. Okay, yes. so. What you want to do is equipped Karth with the Sith armor. Alright. And then you return to hideout. And then you leave the hideout. You don't add Karth, so you go solo. Head back. I see Karth's not with us. Now you can trade the uniforms to Gadden, but since you don't have the uniform on your possession anymore, then you'll actually keep them, and the game will still think that you traded them. So that's what you have to do it that way. I think you can probably kill them too if you wanted to, but we don't. Back again. That. At least this time, Zerdra didn't him. verbally assault you for coming to see me. I trust her with my life. Okay, so let's see. I need information about Republic escape pods. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. 
but you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working with the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila's a slave? What happened to her Normally, now? the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcas scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Uh, there has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Alright, uh, what are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Uh, how am I supposed to get inside the base? Getting into the Vulcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. Where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Uh, let's see, I got uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Let's see, uh, okay, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I'll be back. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. So we lo we received our item, but we didn't actually lose the uniforms. I don't think you really need the uniforms or anything in the game, I and mean, it's just if you want to wear them. But it's just a way to um, hold on to them, so you don't have to worry about it. So we'll go back out of here. We'll head back to our base. And grab uh, Karth again. What's up, Karth? So he's still got the uniforms. Alright, we're good to go. So we'll take those back off, put the combat suit back on, but we still got them on if we want to sure. use them. Which I probably ain't going to do anyway, but... Whatever. So we've explored all this area here. Ooh, Vulcan Enforcers. Lots of them. Uh-huh. Oh, come on, Karth. Hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no 
No loot at all? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tunipudu! <gasps> Rana no prata don't know search what on a wamamunira Kenjunju Bashak no I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Alright, so in steps Candorus. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Uh, who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Well, okay then. So, let's head over here, lower city apartments. There's our boy again. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. <laughs> they even try to stop him. So we'll be meeting up with him later. Ooh, we got a level for Karth, our boy. Uh, let's check him out. We're level four, so Karth's getting to level. Five, nice. Uh, what are we gonna do with him? Put some points in demolition, I think. Do we? I can't remember if I leveled them earlier. Awareness is kind of. Eh. Those are cross-class skills. Uh, we'll just nah. We'll stick with treat injury. I was thinking if I have him. To uh, take get mines up, demolition would be worthwhile. But I'm just gonna go injury with them. Uh, feats. Let's see what we got going here. Uh, let's see. We'll go with uh, toughness. I think we'll give him some get up to maybe two toughness to get the two point uh, damage reduction, and then start going on other some other stuff. So toughness. Give him some more hit points too. So he's up to 60 hit points. We're at 48 hit points, but he's a level up higher than us too. So, yes. All right. So what's going on here? We are in. We don't want to go there. We want to go this way. Ready. Let car take the lead again. Black Valker. Where am I going? Oh god, there's a whole group down there. You asked for this! That hurt, I bet. Ah, uh, Karth. There's a sniper from back here. Some credits. Alright. I believe Selvin's in these apartments. I think these are the only apartments left. She's one of the government contracts for the bounties. So she is somebody we want to get, but she's pretty tough, actually. What's wrong, Karth? Oh, boy. Speak to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, ask more questions. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? <laughs> uh, not if... You have a problem with it. No, no. I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Damn. 
This isn't an interrogation, asshole. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Uh, see, like you said when we first met, Bastila didn't have time True. for her powers. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm just a soldier, then. Is that anything unusual? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. Uh, what's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. What do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always as suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Ah, uh, Karth. Karth and his trust issues. I'm going to get old. What? We're pretty low on health here, so... I th we're gonna be running into her soon. It. This might be it. It's open. Yep, that's her. Shite. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Who are you? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Uh, I was just exploring, you know. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Damn. Well, she's kind of a... I gave you a chance hey. to get out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Oh, I didn't mean... I was trying to leave for a second. Crazy bitch. Alright. I really should start with a med pack. She's pretty tough. What? Uh -huh. yeah, hit cars. There we go. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Six fifty. All right. And what do we get from? We get some some good stuff. Scope, which is an upgrade for the guns. Adrenaline amplifier, which is. And, okay. Get some good stuff from her. And we get to turn her in the bounty in. Which is good stuff for us. So let's see what we got here. We got the Neuroband. Well, might as well give me an energy shield too. The adrenaline, adrenaline Amplifier is a plus two to reflex saves. And the neural band is a plus two to will saves. Our will is we didn't put it on, do we? Oh, we did. So we got two and four. We need reflex. Yeah, Karth needs will. Okay, perfect. So we need reflex. Which one's reflex? No. Reflex. And Karth can use will saves. All right, balance that out. Nice. So we'll head back eventually and get our money from Zach, the bounty hunter guy. Mm. 
Minor gas main. Oh, this is another quest thing. Read the message. Talks about um, the things that are important. Our hyperdrive is the dog. Um, Alderaan's the planet, and the uncle. Those are the thing, things you got to remember. Now we need to. We didn't get poison there. Good. If you have a demolition skill, you could maybe take that mine. So it's a password box. So hyperdrive is the pet. Uncle is the guy who wrote it, and Alderaan is the planet. Identity confirmed. 110 XP. And loot, a new pistol, Republic mod armor, and 100 credits. I don't think the Republic mod armor is... Is it that great? It may be better for Karth, actually. He has a combat suit. It's a little better for Karth. We'll give it to him. Ooh, looking good, Karth. Yes? Hello. Lag. Uh oh. Ha! How'd you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, more destruction. Full locker, normal stuff. Any good loot here? Credits. Credits. Couple of grenades. My daughter's walking around being annoying. You asked for this! So he's got the shield on. He's actually a tough guy. He's the boss. But he's not tough enough. That's for sure. Credits, energy shields, shock stick, and another combat suit. Armor reinforcement. That is nice. That is an armor upgrade. So, actually, you could turn on solo mode down here if you want. So Karth will stay where he is, and... Yeah, we're gonna get blown up to shreds there. But that's okay, we're gonna actually head back in a second to heal and upgrade our equipment. But we wanted to get these parts, some grenades, iron grenades, good against droids. Concussion grenades, good against stunning. Make sure you turn solo mode back off, though. Or else you're getting a fight in Karth, uh, be just sitting back where you left them last. Alright, good, perfect, we're done with this then. And I might taking damage. I had a feeling we were done. We'll be able to head right back to our apartments here and heal up. And upgrade. Necessary upgrades. Do we get any more for this? No, we still got two on there. We still gotta get the bonding alloy. Once we get that, this thing's gonna be real nice for us. We did get another, we got a scope for Karth, give him an attack bonus of plus one, so he has an easier chance to hit than he had before. And armor wise, we'll upgrade all our, our armor I think. Defense bonus of two, so we were five plus five with dex, now we're seven plus five. And that's the only one we got, yeah. So our defense has gone up to 20, which is really nice. And let's head back where we were. Alright. Looking good. I think the only thing left is the base. This is the... Oh, there's a few Valkers down here, actually. This is the Sith base. You see there's a Sith guard out there. We'll end up taking them out eventually. There's also, two, like, gun turrets. If you go anywhere near that base and attack, you're gonna get killed. What's up with this dude, man? Really? You see there's turrets here. These will destroy you if you attempt to be cocky. 
So we have to get in that base a different way. I don't think there's there's a blaster turret. Yeah. Oh, Karth again? Really? Yes. What's on your mind? Uh, I want to discuss something with you. you. Do. Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to talk about these issues you have with me, dude. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Not built that way. Sounds like an excuse. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people up. Well, it just won't happen again, that's all. Uh, so he wants to guarantee... Oh, I see. Of course it won't happen if you never trust anyone. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. I begin to wonder if you're even capable of trust... Right, and how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Ooh. Me? Yes, you. Why should I trust you, after all? You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Wow. So you don't trust yourself? I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? Uh... You sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it? For now, can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. If you can't tell yet, Karth is a whiny little bitch. But whatever. He's good with blasters. That's all I care. Alright. I think we're going to end here. Yeah, we're going to end here. But what are we doing? We need to get to... Oh, actually, no, that is the place we need to get to. Upper City, Black Walker Base, Pinbeck... Yeah, Vera's Cantina. No, we do need to go here. We'll show them the papers that we got from uh, Gadden. And then we'll be able to get down to the lower city. So we do have to go this way. Yeah. Can't remember. We'll do that. We'll start that in the next vid, though. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.